Today I'll be covering a few things you need to consider in order to prepare your household for a new dog. Click thumbs up for Mojo because he's a three month old pug. Subscribe to my channel to learn how to teach your new pup. You'll be glad you did. And pick up a copy of my new book, Dog Training Revolution. Not only will the book walk you through everything you need to know to raise the best dog possible, wherever you see this play button, there'll be a corresponding video on my website. If you want to reduce some of the chaos you might be going through with a new dog, you can start by setting up automatic pet food delivery at PetFlow. There's really nothing to it at all. Choose your favorite brand of dog food and how often you want it to be delivered. Plus, PetFlow has excellent customer service on helping you find the right dog food for your dog. I'm gonna have a special link and a coupon code in the description that'll give you 20% off of your first auto ship order. Plus, I think it's important to support companies that do not sell training tools that are specifically designed to train with pain. Support ethical companies and make your life easier at the same time. There's more to having a well-adjusted dog than you might imagine. Preparing your family or roommates for a new dog, especially a puppy, can throw everyone a little off. Start preparing yourself mentally for a potentially challenging few months and maybe a little bit less sleep. Your pup has a lot to learn and their life is changing fast. It's critical that everyone is on the same page when it comes to interacting with a dog. In general, I recommend choosing a lead trainer. Now, parents of young children, I understand you might be tempted to delegate this to the kids. However, it should be you as teaching a dog effectively does require some maturity, know-how, and life experience that many young kids just don't yet have. As the main trainer gets a feel for how to interact with the dog, they in turn can then teach other members of the household how to connect with the dog a little bit more consistently. If you do elect to have two lead trainers in the house, say in the case of a couple or a mother and a teenager who really want to be involved with the dog, it's imperative that you're both very consistent and that one person doesn't say tolerate exuberant jumping or begging while the other person wants these behaviors prohibited. You should have a conversation really early on as to what will be acceptable and what won't be. And this will, of course, vary from family to family. But what about introductions to friends, family, and other pets? At first, it's expected that young children will be super excited and really eager to interact with the new dog. Your job as the main trainer is to make this a positive experience all around for your dog and also make sure that you have a leash on your dog when meeting your kids at first. In order to make sure that those first few introductions between your kids and the new dog go really well, have your child toss treats towards your dog and encourage the dog to come to your child rather than having your child approach the dog. Teach your kids to be gentle too. Let your children know about respecting the dog's space, especially when the dog is eating, as many new dogs might be protective of their food. Never leave a young child unattended with a dog either. When introducing your new dog to other pets, keep those first few interactions really controlled and really brief because all of the animals in the house need time to adjust to one another. I'll have a more detailed video in the description that'll show you how to introduce your dog to other family pets. Plus, I'm gonna have a playlist that'll show you how to teach your new puppy or dog all of the basics in order. If you love watching our videos and wanna help me keep making videos, consider making a monthly contribution on my Patreon page. Click thumbs up for Mojo, cause he did really awesome today. Subscribe to my channel if you're serious about learning how to teach your dog all sorts of fun things. And to make the experience even better, pick up a copy of my book. Don't forget to set up automatic pet food delivery at PetFlow too. All those links, they're gonna be in the description. See you guys next time. I hope you found this video helpful. I've got another video with Mojo the Puppy Pug coming up, so make sure you're subscribed to see it. Check out this playlist on teaching your new puppy or dog the basics in order. It's very thorough and completely free. Take your time watching the videos and study them and you'll be in great shape. I can't wait for you guys to see some of the new content we've been working on. We'll see you next time.